Hi guys, a new update for Osiris New Dawn version 1.096 was released today, so let's go through the new stuff that's been added to the game. If you like the video, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. The update seems to be mainly bug fixes and optimization, however also packs some important and highly requested features. The first things you will probably notice are this new loading screen and possibly the updated mapping feature or locator system, but for now let's look at the main parts of this update. Vehicles can now support multiple players, specifically this relates to the GAV and Rover vehicles. This kind of update really is game changing for cooperative gameplay. A function to manually clean your helmet's lens has been added and by default can be operated by hitting the K key. An escape pod can now be found at your spawn point which can be broken down for resources. Other changes are as follows, more panels will now be required to complete the airlock, Structures will appear as frames when you are placing them, a map has been added into ground vehicles, and mecha crabs now have the ability to jump. There are also changes to the user interface that include resizing of the icons and a time left in the day counter in the tab menu. For full patch notes, please follow the link in the description. The developers have been releasing on Twitter a lot of cool graphics of new features that are in development, so it's likely we're not too far away from a much bigger update, but what do you think of this one? Is it enough to keep you going? I would love to know what you think, so please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see what Osiris New Dawn is all about, then click in the top left to see my Let's Play series of it. If you would like to check out my channel, click in the top right, and if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel by clicking in the bottom left. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.